What's good guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy William Williams back with another video. What am I showing you? Look at the title. Recent pickups. You know what that means? Because I fucking don't. I'm just gonna be showing you guys clothing and shoes that I've picked up in the past like six months. And yeah, that's really it. Let's get into it. So first up, I have this vintage long sleeve that I thrifted. It's on a jerseys blank, and it's from some school, I don't know where. Old Providence, it has this super cool motif with the little knight on the horse. And then on the sleeves, it has just in print in Old English, it says Old Providence. And the jerseys blanks are really nice because the cuffs, the ribbing on them, just get super like light and dainty over time and they just feel really comfy. And the fit on them is really nice. So next up we have these Jacob cargo shorts, the utility cargo shorts. These are one, definitely my favorite pair of shorts I have right now. I get so much use out of these things. They have the really nice length inseam. It gives the shorts just a really good look on body. I really recommend getting you these if you need a pair of just good go-to shorts. The one thing about these though, I did get stopped in the airport and the airline guy, whatever, TSA, he was like swiping my ass crack for like 30 seconds to a minute probably and give me full pat down. He also firmly cupped my balls in his hands, which I thought was really fucking weird. So apparently these things are like bulletproof and make sure you don't wear them to the airport. This guy was, he was begging me to take whatever I had out of my pockets. He refused to believe that my shorts were empty. These things are just made of like carbon Kevlar or some shit. So next up we have this Japanese brand, just all over Sashiko patchwork pair of shorts. I mean, they're, they're really well done. Uh, this was just some random guy doing them and he put them on some like athletic short almost. So it's definitely not the highest quality. And the work itself isn't that great. And he didn't measure it correct, so I don't even fucking fit in them. They're really well done. So as you already saw those New Balances, I have these vintage New Balances from like, they were listed as like 1960. I couldn't find anything on this shoe besides that there was a remake done under a new name. I know it's old because my 85 Terminators have the exact same sole or the uh, insole and this, the construction is exactly the same. The upper mesh liner is crazy aged. They're fucking gorgeous. I'm a big fan. They have the Vibram sole. If you can see that insole, if you own any old shoes, you know. That's super common to see that. Even just the scuffs on these. Like, the scuffs are so beautiful. An all-around really nice shoe. I've been looking for a New Balance. I haven't found any, and I didn't want to get any of those ALD ones. It's just not really my style. They're just, I don't know. These things fill the void. This is just a nice low top, gray, white and gray shoe. The silhouette's nice. They're super long on the front end. They're kind of like a boat, but regardless, I think they're fucking cool. So we have this hoodie from Valor Scars. Some of you may know him. There's nothing special about the fit or the material on this hoodie. I'm just a sucker for baby animals. It says words of wisdom with like a little Bambi skipping along. I think it's adorable, personally. Next up, this is another item from a YouTuber, YouTube fashion guy, Omar, or pff, Owen, not Omar. Oh uh, yeah, Owen Hyatt. That's what his brand, Somar. These pants are really nice, but the fit on them is kind of weird. The only shoes that I like wearing these with that I think fit well are my Yeezy slides or a clog, but anything else to me, the fit looks goofy around the ankle. They have these ankle straps with Velcro, so you can adjust the size probably by like, what, four inches maybe. The hardware on them, they're nice. They have like these little tassels. The pants are overall have a nice construction. They have like little knee darting details on the knee, just helps the fabric bend better and looks cool. They have these rivets right here that make it look a little bit like a double knee, but they're not. This little utility piece right here, and then it's a drawstring waistband. All right, so next up, I definitely have one of the most impractical pieces that I purchased. I definitely regret buying this. I need to sell this shit because I live in South Florida and I already, I'm hairy as shit already. So I'm sweating is already a problem. When I put on my Kuji Capital African Jesus Lion, uh, whatever, this thing is ridiculous. The fit on it's nice. The quality on it, as you would expect from a Capital knitwear, it's good. I already showed this to you guys in that sun fading video, but it's just this wide open Capital crew neck. Though the neck lining is huge, which 
is the reason I want to sell it. It looks like a gown or something. It just has this little pocket looking detail and it has crazy distressing all over it. On the back, paint splatters and just a lot of embroidery. The fit on it is super nice. It has these very tight sleeves that give it a good fit. But again, the neck lining just doesn't do it for me. So this is gonna be the last sweater. This is just like a nostalgic piece for me, really. It's this Ralph Lauren American flag knit sweater. When I was growing up, my mom just always put me in one of these as a kid, as a little baby, and I would have this sweater on. So I kind of just want to always own one of these. I'm probably not gonna get a crazy amount of wear out of this. So next up, I have a grail to many, including myself. The Undercover Autumn Winter, Autumn Winter 03, the Paper Doll Collection. This thing is insane. Everything about it, the construction of it is ridiculous. It's like double layer stitching all throughout, like raw hem. It's crazy. It's a patchwork of all bunch of different things. The graphics on it are super like cryptic, involving some gang or something along those lines. I don't know, but. The you have the tiger right there. You got the skull, the back graphic, a ghastly tail drenched with gouts of blood. I don't know what that means, but something about blood. Also, it has these really high quality pearl buttons on which just looks super cool when the light hits them. Yeah, wearing this, I mean, I'm pretty much just layering it with a tank top as I do with most things. And then, yeah, either leaving it opened or closed, whichever I'm feeling. I've been getting a lot of wear out of this recently. Next up, we have these Andy Mulemeister like lug back zip boot. I'm super picky about boots, but these, in my opinion, are just fucking gorgeous. The leather on them, super high quality. They fit properly with pants. I actually wear them like these easy socks, these super thick socks, and they give me a nice fit, but the only drawback are just these like whatever, like medium quality YKK zips. Like they're all right. I got a good deal on these from a friend. He got some wear out of them. This is probably like their fourth home, I would say, because I know he got them from somebody else. So either the third or fourth home, but regardless, they are happy on my feet. The one thing about these, your worst nightmare, is being out wearing these and a girl coming up to you and telling her that she has matching shoes with you and you look down and there's some uh, Doc Martens. Really, uh, that's some feels bad man shit, really. These are some chunky ass boots. Next up, we just have these black Wrangler Ranchers. They're dress denim, and you can get these on Amazon for like 35 bucks. But the waist or the thigh on them is super tight, and they come out to like more of like a bell-bottom boot cut at the end, so a nice, tasteful flare. If you want to know like more in-depth about these, go watch Christian with uh, Brave New Wear. He has a really good video breaking these down. I think if you're looking for a nice, proper fitting pant, especially like a boot cut pant, I would definitely try these out. Oh, just size up a couple sizes, like two in the waist, I would say. Next up, we have this no maintenance cropped camp collar in this like satin material. It has this chain stitching on the front and back, no heaven without you. And then the no maintenance on the front with the camp collar. This thing is really nice, but I really don't like the fabric. It's just super satin. It's 100% acetate and it just looks like really satiny. This is the only color that I thought would make sense that wouldn't look like crazy satiny. But again, like the fit is phenomenal and the stitching is great, but I, it's just not, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping this. I've already worn it a couple times. Here I have this, this is actually merch from this He's like a producer out of Japan. Typically, I would always completely stay away from merch, but he actually got this produced and like made some really nice clothing. And I thought it was really clean. This was actually a sample I bought of him on a story sale. It looks to be based off like a Dickies work shirt and it just has a nice cropped boxy fit with a graphic print right here. It's like a fairy with like some like wings or something. Like a fairy getting stabbed in the back or something. I don't know. The back graphic is the big hitter. Also, I do not like the color purple but to me this graphic is just one of the greatest things. It says, you can read it, Cat's Cradle Optical Illusionists. And it's just this really nice font with little stars, the cat's on it, and then has this little undercutting right here. See the cradle, see the cat. I just think it's sick. It's just mad witty and I like cryptic shit that doesn't make sense, but. Okay, so as you can see, this is me recording at a different date. I had more stuff to show and I didn't get around to filming it. So I'm doing that now. All right, so next up we have these green capital military shorts. They are in the 
classic like olive drab colorway and they have this print all across the front side nothing on the back and then you just have some patchwork all around the shorts some really cool detailing and then this like little leather pouch with like a name tag type deal uh they're super fucking cool they also have a nice sun fade on them. The only drawback to these shorts is they do not have any pockets. So that gives you some practical reason to carry a bag, right? I've been wearing these a lot recently, but I have to wear a backpack with them again because they don't have any pockets. They're just a really beautiful pair of shorts. These are definitely one of my favorites I own right now. Next up, we just have this vintage Polska tee, which just means Poland, I think. Yeah, it's just like a heraldic bird with a crown, and yeah, it's just a really nice wash, a solid fit, and I really like it. Next up, we have this Cetisim belt, which to my knowledge, it was made for Guidi by this independent guy, and it's a calf hide belt with this really cool like iron branded belt buckle. Basically, it's just like a normal piece of calf hide leather, and I, it looks like it was just plucked up just to give it texture all around. It gives it like a, it almost looks like tar or something. I'm a big fan of this thing. It has like a little bit of branding right here. I think I paid 60 bucks for this thing, which is, I think, a really good deal considering the quality of this thing. It's hand stitched, it's all hand done, everything. They have a few other styles still left on the site. I know they these were released a few years ago and they still have some. Whoever the guy is that makes these, they're somewhere in Europe. All of like the really good styles were sold out. This was the only one that was left over that I thought was still really cool. And I wanted a nice new belt, but yeah. Next up, we have this little USB drive on a necklace from OD Bug. It's just like bedazzled. This thing is pretty cool. I mean, it's just a bedazzled USB drive. It's like a 32 gig, so I think that's enough to store my spank bank and my memoir or my will. I plan on wearing this around my neck, so if I ever die, somebody can plug this in and they'll see basically like my whole life's work. And for the last item I'm going to show are these vintage Austrian paratrooper boots. I paid like $60 for these, and they are a phenomenal investment, or they were a phenomenal investment. The leather on them, especially up on the ankle, is so, so supple. The stitching on them, I'm super particular about boots again and they don't have like the toe cap or anything honestly they look a little like kingdom hearts boots or whatever they're a little funny but they got the cool lug sole they have the solid stitch pattern the nice leather and again i paid 60 dollars for these you, you really don't need to go spend fucking 800 dollars on a pair of boots right especially if you don't have a lot of money dude go go get a pair of vintage combat boots again take your time getting them because there's a lot of shit up there on the internet you can find really 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 good deals brands like Rick and Mule Meester, Margella, they all look at these vintage military silhouettes and really just copy a lot of the stuff. And I'm sure you would look at this and you would see a very big similarity with a lot of boots that are pretty popular nowadays. All right, so that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite piece was. Also, if you wanna buy any of this stuff, it's probably for sale, most of it at least. Let me know your thoughts down below. Hit me up, see what's good. If you guys have any ideas on what I should make in the future, let me know, because I'm really gonna start posting, trying to start post, trying to start to post more videos. I have a bunch of things planned. So hopefully this gets up within a few days. And yeah, I'm thinking I'm actually gonna start live streaming on YouTube. Just want like playing Halo and stuff and talking to you guys, whoever's there. Keep your eyes out. Keep your eyes peeled. <coughs> and yeah, I appreciate you guys making it to the end of the video. If you aren't subscribed, please do that now. That'd be nice. And uh, hit the like. Again, leave a comment, hit me up, turn the bell on, do all of that. And I will see you in the next one.